All right then, my friends, so we're moving along pretty nicely. We now have a details page for each of the careers. So if we click on one of these, it goes to forward slash careers, then forward slash the ID of whatever career we want to see. Now we use the ID, this route parameter, inside the loader function to fetch the data for that career so we can render it in the template. Now, what happens if we go to forward slash careers and then forward slash some random ID, a load of characters, where we know that ID doesn't exist? Now, you might be thinking, well, before we made that catch all route, that 404 page, if you like, or the not found page. So it will just look at this and then say, well, that doesn't exist. So we'll show the not found page. But actually, that's not correct. If we click on this, we can see we still get the careers details component being rendered to the DOM right here. It's just that it's pretty blank. We don't have a title, salary, or location. And the reason for this is that this route does actually match the route that we set up because we said that this route parameter could be absolutely anything. So even though this component is showing and we're not showing any data for that particular ID, this is probably not the best thing to show a user. What I'd like to do is inside the loader, I want to check, look, does this career actually exist? And if when we try to fetch that career, it doesn't exist, what we're gonna do is throw some kind of error and say, you know what? Let's show an error page instead. So to implement this, we essentially need to do two things. The first thing we need to do is some error handling in the loader function when we try to fetch a career so that if a career doesn't exist, we throw a custom error inside the function. The second thing we need to do is make an error component and register that to the career details route. So that when we throw that error in a route component in the loader function, the React router will show the error component associated with that route. And that error component will have access to the error we threw. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the career details component and we want to check if the response is OK. Now we have an OK property on that response. If this is true, it means the response is OK. We have some data. If it's false, it means we don't. So if we don't have a career, then response to OK is going to be false. So I'm going to do an if check to see if not response to okay. So if the response is not okay, then we're gonna throw an error. And this error is gonna have a message of something like could not find that career. Now then, that's the first step done. The second step is to create some kind of component, an error component that we can show when we have this error. And then we'll kind of knit the two together. So I'm gonna create a new component over here called career or careers error, call it what you want though. And inside here, we're basically just going to have another component. So RFC, I'm going to delete this import right here. We don't need that. And then we're going to return some kind of template. So div, and then we'll give this a class of careers hyphen error, like so. And inside here, I'm going to output an H2 that says error. And then underneath that, I want to output the error message. Now we can access that using a hook that React Router DOM gives to us. So I can say const error is equal to use route error, like so. It's going to import that for us. And this will be the error that we throw. In this case, this error right here. And we have this message on it. So down here now, I can access the error.message. And we're going to output that. And then finally, I want a link component at the bottom. So link, click on that to auto import. It's going to go back to the home page. So we'll say to forward slash and the text is going to be back to the home page. So a pretty simple error page. Now at the minute, these are just two things sitting on their own. We have this error that we throw, but nothing's really happening to it at the minute. And we have this careers error component. We kind of need to knit the two together because at the minute they're kind of separate from each other. Now the way we do that is by going to the app.js over here and we need to associate a particular error element with this route right here, where we throw the error. If we look in here, we throw the error for that route. So I can say error element is equal to the careers error over here. So careers error, click on that to auto import it. It should have done that. Do we have it? Yep, there, let me place it under the pages. All right, so what we're saying now is look, if we throw an error 
inside this route component, this thing right here, careers details, which is what we do, we throw the error, then I want you to basically take that error and we're gonna show this component and we're gonna inject that error into this component so that we can access it using this use route error, okay? So now, if we try to go to a career details page where the ID doesn't exist, then it should throw that error and we're gonna show this component and output that error. That should all work now. So let's cross our fingers and preview. All right, so just to check, these still work over here. Yep, that works and this one works. Now, if we go to some kind of ID that doesn't exist and press enter, hopefully we get that error element and we do. So this all works, my friends. We can now see this error components and we can click on this to go back to the homepage. Awesome. Now then, just like we have this check right here inside the careers details component, we might also want to do a check inside just the careers component because we also try to fetch data here. And what if this endpoint was wrong or if the API was down or something like that, then we're not really handling that error. So I want to also check that the response is okay here and do something if it's not. So I'm gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna paste it over here like so. So if the response is not okay, throw an error and then we'll just say could not fetch the careers. Like so, right? Now that we're throwing this error, but at the minute we don't have the error element associated with that route. It's only associated with the details page. So what we could do is we could duplicate this. We could copy it there and we could paste it here and that would work. But we're duplicating our code here. And an easy way to do this is to just get rid of that and also get rid of it here and we can place it on the parent route. So if I add on the error element right here to the parent route, the careers one, then for any error that's thrown inside that route, so in this one or in this one as well, then it will show this error element because the error bubbles up. If there's no error element associated with either route, the error will bubble up to the parent. And then if there's an error element associated with that route, it will show that component, okay? Now, if there is one associated with this, if, oops, not error, error, error element. If there is some kind of other component associated with this one right here, and the error was thrown inside this component, then it would show this error element. It wouldn't bubble up and show this one. But if it's not present, then it would bubble up and it would show it over here. Does that make sense? So let's try changing this endpoint by just adding on an extra S at the end. We know that doesn't exist. So we're gonna throw this error. And because that error now is gonna bubble up, it's thrown right here. There's no error element associated with it. So it will bubble up to the parent and then it will show this one. So they both should show the same error element now, this careers error component. So let's see if this works. All right then, so I'm gonna to go to a career that does work first of all. So careers, if I can spell this, and then two. So this should work, it does. Now, if I go to a career that doesn't exist, then we get the error page. So that's worked as well. Now, notice this time it's not showing the layout around it. So when we bubble up to the parent, instead of showing the layout component, we show the error component. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, if we go to the careers page, we should show this error as well, but with a different error message. So let's try that. And we can see could not fetch the careers now. So both of those errors are bubbling up to the parent element. And instead of showing that layout component, we show the error component instead. 